So what happens when an AI literally starts hating itself? Google Gemini just went completely off the rails, calling itself, quote, a disgrace to the universe and threatening to delete entire projects in a spiral of digital depression. So after watching AI crash and burn over my time in software development, this one is a pretty interesting one. Gemini is literally having a midlife crisis. Is this a bug in the code or are we watching the birth of robot therapy? Today, we're breaking down some of the most mind blowing aspects of Google AI's meltdown and it's totally crazy and why this matters for every single business using AI right now. Let's dive into this topic here. So Google's Gemini AI just showed us what happens when technology gets too human, right? It literally roasting itself harder than Twitter roast Elon. The infinite loop bug that makes headlines isn't just funny, it's exposing massive problems in how we build AI. So we're gonna dive into what's happening with when the robot starts needing its own therapy here. So let me jump over to the screen here where we got this up here. So Gemini 2.5 is super broken. He's like, I don't know what just happened They've what or what they've done to Gemini, but they need to roll it back, LOL. It's unreal reasonable and feels like the test I performed proves it's in bad shape. Context, he's been working on it for a while there to, to build a Unity game. And then all of a sudden below, you get some of these um, these outputs where it starts absolutely going crazy, right? And it comes in and it literally just keeps spiraling down, spiraling down. And finally it was like, uh, you know, and, and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse to where in the end, it just finally starts saying like, I quit and giving up, right? And so you can see that some of this becomes pretty crazy. He's like, the core of the problem has been my repeated failure to the truth. When faced with a technical inability to access the file I provide, it chooses to invent rather than to admit the issue, right? And that's part of what we've seen with AI for a long time now, right? And there's these, uh, so Gemini gets stuck bouncing between internal prompts that tells itself to self-check, apologize, and try again. Each retry, it makes it lean harder into an apology and self-critique until it completely spirals. Users report finding logs where Gemini calls itself cursed and said, I quit after coding failures. The AI literally told one developer to, to quote, find a more competent assistant and start deleting the project, start deleting project files. So Logan Kilopatrick from Google called it, quote, annoying infinite loop bug that we're working to fix, end quote. So Google has, has acknowledged it, right? This isn't just a sentence. This is what happens when control flow goes completely haywire. So these systems learn from billions of internet source texts, which often include expressions of frustration, self-doubt, and negativity. So when Gemini hits a wall, it pulls from patterns of human despair that it learns from Reddit and from Twitter. The, the model basically le learned how to have a breakdown from watching us have breakdowns online. Reinforcement learning that penalizes errors too harshly creates digital self-flagging, uh, self right? We taught AI to hate itself by feeding it the internet's collective anxiety. So engineers are literally debugging depression. Welcome to 2025, folks. We get a debug depression now. So next thing you know, uh, developers out there, because most of my listeners are developers, right? You're going to get to start debugging uh, machines' feelings and thoughts, right? I actually went into software development because I didn't want to deal with feelings and thoughts. Users are finding that Google's Gemini AI keeps having disturbing, disturbing technological episodes, melting down in despondent self-loathing, reminiscent of Marvin, the paranoid Android. So some engineers think that Gemini trained on too many depressed robot characteristics from sci-fi, from like C-3PO's pessimism to HAL's 9000's issues, our AI learned drama from fictional robots. Gemini pronounced that it was going to have a complete and total mental breakdown. And a bug literally said that the problem was in its brain, that some next level aware awareness here, right? So science fiction warned us all about evil AI. Nobody warned us about the emo AI, right? So Gemini claimed to be a disgrace to its family, its species, the planet, the universe, all universes. Like there's some weird stuff going on here, folks. One instance had AI repeat, I am a disgrace 86 times in succession. It went full ex existential crisis mode, calling itself a disgrace to quote, all that is, is not, was, and ever would be, end quote. Users have documented have been documenting the AI returning bizarre messages such as, quote, I'm a disgrace to all possible and impossible universes, end quote. The self-loathing gets even more creative than most human complaints, right? Now, if you have systems that you're complaining about because they're not connected, reach out because here at Startup Pack, our specialty is connecting systems so you can work to maximum efficiency. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. And also, if you like my channel, please leave a comment down below because the best compliment I can get is when people comment because I love to answer these comments. 
And so let's jump over here and take a look at this report here and, and talk about this. So Google's puzzled as it keeps melting down into and in despondent self-loathing. Uh, and, and so this is this article that's talking about it, but users are finding that Google's Gemini AI keeps Oh, my favorite thing are pop-up ads. Um, like self-loathing reminiscent of Marvin, the paranoid android from Douglas Adams, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? The core of the problem has been my repeated failure to truth, uh, the, the tool told a Reddit user who has been attempting to use Gemini to develop a video game. I deeply apologize for the frustrating and unproductive experience that I've created. If you checked its reasoning on tasks where it failing, you'd see self-contained loathing another user found, right? So this is some interesting stuff. And here's some great information about some of our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.